Welcome to another expert accounts tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how the serial numbers tracking module and the RMA module work. We're gonna click add on modules. This is where we can activate the modules. I've already activated the serial numbers tracking module and the RMA return merchandise authorization module. It is also recommended that you have the items master with price levels module activated. After we've activated all these modules, we're gonna have an SN field. It's going to appear in several uh, pages, for example in configurations, items. We're going to have the SN field, load all the items. and we can see the SN column here. We can check the items that we want to have an SN a serial number we click save. We're also going to have the <laughs> SN field at the purchase documents for example operations new data entries purchase invoice, let's make a purchase invoice click on new document we can see the SN column let's make a purchase, select the partner a location, uh, insert an invoice number first select the location There are two ways we can insert uh, items in this purchase invoice manually by selecting it from a list or by serial uh, number by scanning. I'm going to purchase two items. Insert quantity and the SN boxes have been checked, click finish now the SN packing list window appears we have to scan the SN number for each for each product, for each uh, item <coughs> for example let's say LA1 and for the other one we have to add quantity so we need two codes, two serial numbers LA2 and LA3 click finish and the goods received note has been generated we can see the serial numbers here for each item we can close I'm also going to validate the SN field is also going to appear on invoicing let's make a sale invoice click on sale invoice, new document when selling an item with a serial number you add it to the document by scanning the series in the special SN field let's select a customer a location, scan a serial number, for example LA2 you can see it's been added to the document we can also manually add items for example this one, one quantity one let's give some warranty and uh, click finish the program is going to tell us that the second item does not has not been scanned for the serial number so we are required to scan the serial number 
let's say uh, L9 click finish and we can see that the invoice has been generated having the serial numbers listed click close we are also required to scan the serial number at the POS sale let's validate this document so we go to operations new data entries retail POS new document yes I'm notified that the POS can only run in real-time mode when using uh, serial number tracking I'm not gonna make it full screen right now select a location and scan a serial number let's say <coughs> L10 we can see the product has been added the rest of the sale is as usual I'm gonna close the POS sale we are required to scan the serial numbers in transfers as well we can also see the serial numbers at uh, inventory serial numbers we can see all the items that have serial numbers select the list and we can see the location and the serial number of each item now I'm going to show you how the RMA module works click on RMA RMA operations let's make a check-in we click on the check-in button scan the serial number for example LA2 we can see all the information has been filled about the owner info select where it has been received select all the necessary filters for example warranty service type repair problem problem fault service details, some service remarks, product condition, carry with. We can also build a customer in case the product is not in warranty. Select the product type, brand, status, insert a customer email customer phone and click save we can see that the check-in product document has been generated with a job ID this one has the job ID 4 we can print it click close now click service repairs we can see the service repairs window has opened meanwhile the customer has received a service status notification on the email receiving also a tracking number and the link by clicking on the link the customer can insert the tracking number for example let's insert this number on the online tracking repairs page click the status and the customer can see all the information and the status of the product Now to get back to our service repairs window, scan the job ID, it was 4. We can see all the service info information appeared. We can insert service operations. Let's say it's already done. Click save. Then the customer after receiving an email 
can come and uh, we can do the checkout of the product again we scan the job ID and we click return to owner we can see that the checkout product document has been generated okay let's check the email So as I said, the client has received an email of, with a notification. Okay, going back to the program. In the RMA module we can also print a specific event, for example, click on an event, click on the print button and we can print again the form we can also see the service form for a product with details of all the actions taken on that product from check-in service to checkout and we can also delete events by clicking select pick an event clicking on delete event and click OK thank you for watching see you in the next expert accounts tutorial